Dear God, what have you- oh. Jeez. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Richard with Everlasting Gaming, and welcome back to Garden of Oblivion. Revan's madness begins as we sit here in our wonderfully dilapidated room. Things are getting crazy. The roof is getting gross, the mirror over there is cracked, and little by little, just her sanity. Everything is starting to fall apart, as you can tell by the sad little bunny over here and just everything that's happening. And our poor little flower. It was so pretty and yellow and gorgeous, and now it's dead. We did this to the world. Oh my god, it's so bad. Well, what else can we do except just jump right in? Let's keep going and let's just see where this world takes us, I guess. Alright. Let's just let's just examine this stuff and see what's going on. Just an ordinary mirror. You gotta love how she has like no reaction or emotion to anything that's happening around her. She's just like, meh, this is another Thursday morning. I look a little bit tired, but it's just my imagination. The flower has withered. The room looks sad without its color. Poor buddy. Even if you've gotten into the situation yourself, it saddens me to no end to see you in that state. Revan, please stop. I feel bad. He's so cute. Oh god, imagine how bad it is out here. Oh no, look at the tree. All the pretty glowing fruit is gone. And no more babies in my brain. The garden has taken on a grim look as well. Doesn't feel that welcoming now. And the fox isn't here anymore. I wonder where she went. Yeah, there used to be laughter and children and all this stuff going on around here. It was just a happy, you know, go lucky place. Now look at it. Crap, the door is blocked. Oh man, they really don't want me opening that door. I get the feeling when I talk to him, he's going to blame me. Watch. Oh, Revan, I still don't understand what you're trying to do. Aren't we happy in this fragment of paradise? I wish I didn't have to disappear, but it's too late now. You're killing me. Oh, jeez. Guilt trip. What about the fox? She won't come back, and it's your fault. Thanks. I just keep getting more aggressive the further I get along in this game. My fault? She was the most fragile among us, and you broke her. Everything is going to hell. You included. Jeez. Thanks, duck. I gotta cook you. Oh god, imagine how bad the, like, the library is. Uh, this is gonna be tree. The treat's roots have grown rapidly. I don't understand why. You know, it's interesting. This looks like smoke. And if you remember when we were in that black screen earlier, it looked like a, like a town was on fire or something. I wonder if she's repressing something. That's still what I think is going on here. I feel like she's repressing maybe something tragic, and this is her conscience that's dealing with it all, but I guess we're going to see. Oh. I can't take it anymore. I tried my best. I really did. But it was all in vain. You abandoned us. Now my time has come. I won't be able to sustain any longer. You're gonna die? Yeah, like you care now. Go ahead and try your power all you want now. Nobody's gonna stop you. That doesn't sound as fun as I thought. I'm sure it won't bother you all that much anyway. I'm just mad that you gave us hope just to shatter it in the end. I feel bad. Everything is so pretty and now look what I did. Well, the library still looks nice at least. Le Duchess de Linguach. Don't touch the axe. A book's about a coquettish married noblewoman who was so bored that she toyed with her beloved's feelings until... Should I use my power on it? Uh... We're not going to mess with the world any more than we have so far quite yet. We might need our power. A novel about a mad scientist who creates a monster in an experiment. It's kind of modern Prometheus. Should I use my power on it? Yeah, let's create more monsters now. We're gonna we're gonna wait. I'm just looking for now, but we're we're gonna end up coming back here, I'm sure. Story of a murderer, perfume. The story of a man with no odor who murders people to find the perfect scent. Should I use my power on it? Uh You know, screw it. You only live once. We're gonna use all three of them. Screw it, let's see what happens. Alright. I tried to use my power on a book in order to create an object from the cover. Puzzle. Oh, I should have read the description. Crap. 
Ah, crap. Ah, I didn't read it. Damn it. Alright. It's okay. We're smart. We'll figure this out. It's just a puzzle. Oh, okay. So it lines it up for you. You just have to pick the right pieces. I can do that. Not a problem, champ. I was always a big fan of puzzles like this when I was a kid. Especially the really longer ones. Awesome. Oh, this isn't hard at all. You guys ever done one of those like ridiculously long puzzles that give you like a thousand pieces and they give you the worst headache ever? They suck, but you feel so accomplished when you're done, you're like, yes, I did this. Oh, I could do this. This is this isn't hard at all. Watch, it's gonna be like an absolutely disgusting picture or something. I love the music. I'm a big fan of the flute. I feel bad, we're killing all the forest creatures. Passive aggressive bastards. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> Alright, she's looking like something so far. Of another time when I've ever played like a horror game or anything like this that had like an actual like puzzle puzzle, like jigsaw puzzle. She's starting to look like a person, you guys. Excuse me. We have a foot and Half of another foot. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah. There we go. So it just makes me want to go do a puzzle now or something. What I want to know is, is that what, what did her power do exactly? It just summoned a random jigsaw puzzle? I'm, I'm curious as to what's going to happen once I do this. The duck is just going to end up dying. Watch. Awesome. Oh, why does it keep telling me to save? Sorry about that. Every time I click outside it, it keeps asking me to save. Uh, awesome. Almost done. Great at games, you guys. We totally killed this. Stop doing that. Yeah, new game mechanics. Awesome. An axe materialized. I can destroy the door now. Hey, awesome. <laughs> Using powers without any consideration has worked out well for us. Awesome. Do we have an axe? We do. All right. Let's use it on this one now. Frankenstein, a novel about a mad scientist who creates a monster in an experiment kind of a modern Prometheus. Let's create a monster, why not? Yep. This book isn't responding well. I have to find one that can give me something useful. Aw, I was looking forward to that. Perfume, the story of a murderer, the story of a man with no odor who murders people to find the perfect scent. That same thing, it's not responding well. Alright, well we'll use the right books, awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna feel terrible if we find like the fox is dead somewhere, it's gonna be the worst. Oh, I feel bad opening the door, but I have to. Let's break that door. I had to go through. I had to see for myself. See the other world. I decided to force my pace to quicken from the get-go, to avoid getting sick so fast. Oh yeah, just run it through. You got this. Like a band-aid, just one swift motion. <laughs> of course, it was difficult to estimate if I was near my goal, or not in this island of flowers. It's so much prettier out here. Even the music is better. And soon enough, this familiar feeling ran through me. It was painful. So very painful. Yet, I threw myself forward. But it was no use struggling. Blood poured once again, and my body wouldn't move any further. You gotta love how, like, descriptive and gross this is, but the music is so happy and cheery, and the birds are cheering, and life is great. Just before my vision went black, I saw a figure in the distance. There was something out there. 
You see? You see, see the smoke you got going on in the city here? This is what you saw in the forest. I'm telling you, it all ties together. Clues, context clues, you guys. We got this. The city again, huh? Always noisy, always cramped, in perpetual movement, and yet motionless. An endless circle of meaningless obligations. Nobody really has any choices there. Your destiny has been written for you a long time ago. Oh, somebody uh, is talking to me here. And you don't have any say in the matter. If you're unhappy with God, oh, or whoever wrote these laws, well, too bad for you. Either you obey society or you disappear. Oh, something's going on here. Well, I opened my eyes. My body was hurting so badly. I almost felt nauseous, and my headache was far worse. But I immediately thought about the flower field. I was almost there. I swore that I had seen something. The music just got a lot more ominous, and I think those are candles in the background? I had to know. I had to destroy the door once more. It's dark in there, and I can hear water dripping from the wall. Is that supposed to represent my current state of mind? I called it! What did I tell you guys? I knew it. I knew it. Also, you gotta notice her mirror is uh, cracking a little bit. And like, mirror is just like a reflection of self. Like, obviously physically, but then like, metaphorically. So, might represent something, but we're getting somewhere. Revan, are you? Are you okay? That's creepy. She's like, I'm fine. <laughs> what a happy smile we got going on here. You should take a look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, you really should. Actually, don't do that. It might be better if you don't see the state you're in for the moment. See, her lack of reaction to all this is making me worry that she might be going insane. Dear God, what have you... Oh, jeez. What have you done to yourself? What have you done to us? Yep. I knew it. That fox is probably buried and dead somewhere. See, this world is crumbling down, and soon it will be destroyed. I wanted to stay with you until the end, but I cannot. I'm also reaching my limit. I was... I was happy to see you again, even for a fleeting moment. And I feel deeply guilty that I couldn't protect you from yourself. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah let's, just, let's just stop with the whole Jekyll and Hyde thing we got going on. Your other self is screaming. They don't want you to leave. And yet they long for it deep down inside. I don't want you to struggle anymore, to suffer, but I was unable to help you. What happened to the others? They went back into the darkness, where you first gave them life. Do you remember the friends from your childhood now? We haven't changed one bit. We were simply waiting for this time to come. We were waiting for you to need us again. Ah, oh, man. I feel like they represent like a time of innocence for her, if she really is crazy. I guess we're going to see. And to our great joy, you came back. It was too good to be true. After all those years, we promised that we'd be together in a little garden just for us. A, purg a purgatory that looked like a fragment of paradise. Purgatory? Am I... dead? Only you can choose between heaven and hell. Your soul is not lost yet. Oh man. Oh, I've got a broken shard of glass down here. Let's look at my reflection first. Just an ordinary mirror. I'm pale as a ghost, and there's blood on my clothes. Yeah, she's got a whole Jekyll Hyde thing going on right here. Jeez. Alright, we're gonna save it right here, just in case. Things are gonna get crazy. Water is dripping from the ceiling. You know what? I bet it's raining. I bet it's raining. I can't see the sky anymore. There's a black hole above me now. With all those candles, this feels more like a haunted house than a bedroom. I feel deeply guilty that I couldn't protect you from yourself. Oh, it's gonna be bad out here. Are you ready? Here we go. Ah! Just run out street screaming and naked. Ah! Oh, duck left too. Come to think of it, I couldn't have any philosophical debates with him. Too bad. It reminded me of my childhood. It reminded me of a time when I was still curious, when I wanted to understand the world around me. And the door has vanished for good. 
can't destroy it this time. The eye is still there, though. Huh. Interesting. There seems to be some kind of opening in the tree. See, th there's always a door if you look hard enough. You just have to make one. I wonder if I can dig a tunnel around under the wall. The door has disappeared. Only the strange eye remains on the wall. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I can't imagine what's happening in the ceiling here. The librarian has disappeared as well. I guess she won't be able to enjoy those books anymore. Ah, it doesn't let me go in there this time. To think of that it's been an eternity since I last had the time to read, and the one time I get the chance, I let it pass me by. I'm stupid. Oh. There it is. Oh, man. Is that marker? Is that blood? Don't go. I wonder if that's a Revan's Eye. Interesting. Nausea. A philosophical novel about existentialism. Should I use my power on it? Why not? These books are giving me items, obviously. The book isn't responding well. I have to find one that can give me something useful, so... Not that one. The Interpretation of Dreams. A book introducing the theory of the unconscious by Freud. See? I'm telling you. Subconscious stuff is going on here. Watch, we're completely wrong. We're just... <laughs> all this for nothing. I couldn't use my power even if I wanted to. It's one of Fred's work, for Christ's sake. Magic Mountain. A complex book, but more, many symbolic undertones. Also, it's about a mountain, I think. Should I use my power on it? Or a water slide? <laughs> right. I tried to use my powers in the book in order to create an object from the cover. Another puzzle? Cool. Alright, so it's a magic mountain, so it's obviously going to be a mountain. So this shouldn't be hard. I, I love how crazy this is getting. I'm telling you, nothing is always cute forever. Nothing. Once the bunny goes, it's like, that's it. We're all alone. Alright, we got this. What would you guys do if you woke up in a situation like this? Like, I, I wouldn't even know what to do. Honestly, I would just read. I, I would enjoy having a quiet place just to read. Just a bunch of fruit, because I love fruit. Food is the best thing ever, and fruit, I love fruit. I would just read, eat fruit, and just relax. I'm from the city myself, and it's always just loud everywhere. You can't even go to the library with, like, to find a quiet place to read. It's terrible. Right. Come on. This one's a little harder. Good old jigsaw puzzles. It's always the last one you think it is, too. Man. There we go. Awesome. Okay. I was like, am I losing my mind here? Up. Uh, that's a grave. That's not good. Oh my god, we killed the fox and the duck, and they were so cute. And probably the seal. Alrighty. Man, this is why we can't have nice things. It's terrible. Come on. Just missing that one tiny piece up there. I f no, it's not that one.
It's like a bluish green piece. Good old jigsaw puzzles. Gotta love them. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll come back to that. There we go. Awesome. It's always the last one you think of. Sweet. Progress. Good at games, you guys. We got this. Hey, this one was significantly longer than the other one. It's interesting. The horrors we're gonna see. Sweet. It's all coming together. We survived, you guys. The power of reading. Alright. Some have materialized. I cannot dig a hole under the door. That's either guiding me in the way to get around that little wall thing, or it's telling me that there's a grave out there somewhere. We're gonna find out. Alright. We're gonna dig a hole. Ugh, I keep killing those poor little animals. I feel bad. Let's dig under that door. Well, let's just keep making things worse, because why not? After digging for a while, I found myself in the flower field once again. My efforts had been rewarded. This time I know for sure. Determined, I run to make my way through the grass. When the usual sickness struck me, I didn't feel as much pain as I thought I would. As if I was getting used to the dark embrace. As if I was beginning to accept it. When blood flowed from my mouth again, I didn't even care. I caught a glimpse of the figure again. I had to speed up to reach it. Oh. Random scarecrow, okay. When I managed to get to the thing in the field of my vision, I realized that it was only a scarecrow. It looked funny, but not that extraordinary. Nothing is as it seems, my friend. That is what madness does to you. Had I come all the way for nothing? I felt nauseous again. What now? I was gonna say I got really quiet. Yeah, let's 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 just touch it. Why not? That's what you do. If you ever run into something strange in the middle of the wilderness, just just, just touch it. See what happens. Just try it. Oh, jeez. Uh, I have really good headphones. This is gonna jump at me, is it? Okay. I'm glad that I put my soda down, because if that would have jumped at me, I would have just destroyed my MacBook right here. <laughs> the city I remember my life... The city I remember my life back then. I remember realizing that I was just a small useless cog in a much bigger machine that exceeded me. I wanted to escape that life so badly. To escape into an endless dream where everything would be as I wanted. Just like books. Books hold many, many words. Albeit closed ones. Finite words without futures as soon as their stories end. So I don't know what to do anymore. So I destroy. Oh. Things are not going well. I feel like my body is slowly decaying. I can hardly take the pain anymore. Damn that scarecrow. It hurts so badly. You're gonna pay for this. I will destroy you. Just wait while I look for a weapon. Oh man. Um, Humpty isn't here anymore. Guess he warned me. I'm all alone now. Alright. We've officially encountered the Scarecrow from Hell. We touched its belly and now its rage is aimed directly at us. <laughs> We're gonna die at some point. He's just gonna come right at us. And he's gonna jump on our little flower pot over here and just be like, Yeah. You had to touch me, didn't you, you little shit? <laughs> well, hey, you guys. It's been fun. The world is falling apart. We did this to these poor little creatures. It's getting crazy. This is exciting and very interesting. She's most definitely having some type of crisis of conscience, but we're going to find out specifically why in the next episode. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that there's something going on? Do you think maybe she's repressing something? Do you think maybe that she's running away from something? 
I want to know what you think. You tell me in the comments below. Hey, if you like exciting and new gaming videos every day, be sure to like and subscribe down below. Tap that little bell right there so you get notified the minute I post new videos. I post every day. All right, you guys. It's been fun. I'm Richard with Everlasting Gaming, and as always, have a good night.